If you ask someone what their favorite superhero is, most people would say something like Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America. I mean, who can blame them? These heroes all have incredible feats that they can do, like flight, super strength, shooting webs out of their hands. I always had a different answer. By the title of the video, you know which one I'm talking about. My favorite superhero is Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye. Hawkeye debuted in 1964 in Tales of Suspense, issue 57. He grew up on a circus and was mentored by the swordsman. He threatened to turn him in for stealing money. He was beaten and left for dead. In terms of solo series, he's only had a few small outings. In the 80s, he had a four-issue miniseries in which he met Mockingbird and they foiled the villain Crossfire's plan to use a weapon that will make superheroes aggressive. At the end of this series, he lost 80% of his hearing, which would become one of his defining characters. Traits. He also had a 90 series and a 2000 series, both of which were unable to find success. However, that changed in 2012 when Marvel released Hawkeye by Matt Fraction and David Aja. This is the series that showed that Hawkeye was not only just human, he was painfully human. The first issue tells you immediately what kind of story this is going to be, showing Hawkeye falling out of a window saying the words, Okay, this looks bad. Followed up by the title page, Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye, became the greatest shooter known to man. He then joined the Avengers. This is what he's doing when he's not being an Avenger. That's all you need to know. And it really is all you need to know because for the most part, it's Clint's life in this apartment building that he owns, defending it from the tracksuit mafia, and we see the day-to-day -day life of him as we learn more about the people in the apartment complex. One of these people that we learn about is Grills. Issue 7, for the most part, is focused on him and Clint during Hurricane. Sandy. In this issue, Clint not only helps them get through the hurricane, but also helps Grills and his father reconnect after they grew distant due to the death of Grills' mother. That is just another aspect of this run that really made me appreciate Hawkeye more. This is why it hurts so much when you see Grills get assassinated by the man who came from hell. Kazimir Kazimirshek, also known as Clown. Despite only showing up for eight issues, Kazi brings such an incredibly threatening presence with him. He has a somewhat similar backstory to Clint being raised in a circus, however his circus family was killed and he was later taken in by the tracksuit mafia with his friend Yannick. That friend later died in an explosion which transformed Kazi into the clown. He started killing for no reason and no remorse and eventually turned it into a career for himself. He's also a very good match for Clint. This isn't a villain he can take down easily. This is somebody he fights tooth and nail with and in the end he loses his hearing once again by getting stabbed in the ear with one of his own arrows. Kazi is how Clint could have ended up if he went down a much darker path, perhaps if he ended up following the swordsman. Instead, we got the Hawkeye that we know and love. Kazi is an underrated villain and I think he really elevates Clint in his series. Seeing Clint overcome Kazi is one of my favorite moments for the run and really made me love him more. Honestly, Hawkeye is a character that I could probably talk about forever. From what I've seen, he's incredibly underrated, and I feel like I've been rambling a lot, and I do want to wrap up this video. So if you liked the video so far, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and there's one more thing I need to talk about before I end this. I promise this one will be quick. You know what, actually I have an idea. I really like the Hawkeye's MCU version. It's actually the reason why I originally started liking him. I think it was this line that really kind of sparked my initial love for him. Okay, look, the city's flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. It once again tapped into that human element that I love about him. I also thought that his show was great. It gives him that more depth that he needs seeing him deal with Natasha's death and it also establishes that the MCU's Hawkeye is deaf. And I also really loved the relationship as mentor and student between Clint Barton and Kate Bishop. Oh my God, I just realized I never mentioned Kate Bishop. Okay, so 